so let's start with house rent allowance you need to know the website that you generally use for applying for any sort of allowance so especially before that i want to introduce something about the tax authorities so you i think the website i will enclose the website below uh, so that you can know what is the name of the website and mostly it is, that is the popular name toslaken bella it's very difficult to pronounce and for English speaker it might be also difficult when you say in Dutch so it's called Toslaken Belastingdienst Belastingdienst here G is generally pronounced as K, K. it's like a hybrid between like a mid between uh, K and uh, H so it's like KH you need to go to this website for applying for HRA or CA uh, this actually basically translates to Toslaken means surcharge and this is the tax authorities. This is this, the website of there that is the surcharges for the tax authorities. They have a particular website which I don't want to spoil the time and space here. I will leave the link below. So you can access that website and there when you browse through the website you can find different categories for house rent allowance and the minimum requirement that you need to be eligible to apply for house rent allowance is that you are staying privately in your home so always remember that you should be staying privately Do not share the room with someone that's very very important and uh, also remember that uh, you should not share the room and also remember that uh, I mean like even if you share your kitchen or I mean it doesn't qualify as a room of uh, as a private room so private in the sense is that you don't share a single room so in some housings I know of some of my friends they have like a hostel they have a common bathroom or the shower in the corridor and even if you have something like that then it is not treated as private so it is not private if you share a single bit i mean it can be a shower it can be a kitchen or it can be anything so an ideal private house would look something like a house where you basically like you don't share anything and uh, uh, basically it will be something like uh, you will be always you have your own kitchen you have your own shower everything is your own so you have one of each what you need in your day-to-day -day life like your sleeping room and kitchen you don't share a single bit although you may share the common space that is like the cultural space where you have weekend parties that is something different but then only it will qualify as private unless you share something and i mean in their website you can find a lot of information about what qualifies as private but uh, this is the basic requirement if you qualify that then it, you should be fine and by one person it is only in your name not in two persons or more than one person's name so then you are eligible for allowance and you should have a certain gross income limit so normally when you are a student your gross limit is always below that even if you work while being a student i don't remember exactly you can also find those in the rules i'll enclose the link below it is something around uh, whatever I remember it was something like 20,000 uh, euro gross income will be 
somewhere around 20,000 euros so I don't remember exactly but it was something like that 20,000 euros so so you need to go to the website and I cannot explain the process but you should have just a normal extension in your browser like to translate the language from Dutch to English and then you will be good so you can understand what you need to fill it is very it takes almost like maybe uh, 30 minutes uh, to 60 maybe I don't know it depends on how fast you understand and go through it it is like G double -E 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 -E. so they will process it uh, online I mean it's processed by the tax authorities and also the municipality uh, because they give the address proof to the uh, tax authorities so it takes sometimes like maybe two to three months or in some cases it may be also in one month it depends on how fast they are and then they will send you a letter or maybe a reply normally how the letter looks like I'll show you a sample when they have some kind of a decision then the letter looks comes in like in a uh, blue envelope and uh, it's some kind of a bluish color and when they have like a definite hearing they give a definite hearing to you then the it comes in red color so red color I think you'll encounter it late when your yearly allowance is calculated and you get an envelope to finalize that they have paid you this much allowance and this much you owe them back so that is the blue and that is the red one and always remember throughout the video I'll repeat this if I miss something or if you need something more or something else which you uh, are finding it difficult to understand then always remember to leave your comments in the FAQs like it's like FAQ so leave your comments below and again I'll make another video for each of these videos which I'll make in this information series so once you leave the comments I will make another video only just covering the things that I missed or the comments that you gave so so what happens okay so once you have the decision sometimes they ask for an appointment which is generally in Den Haag or in Rotterdam which is mostly in the center of Delft so sometimes they ask it's not always sometimes they want to verify whether you are telling the truth because once you are in a house in Netherlands you should have a rental contract with you even if it is a any type of house you should have the rental contract so you might be asked for an appointment after they confirm your application is correct to from in Den Haag or in maybe in Rotterdam and then they finalize that you will get this money so this sometimes I mean even if it is pending like they make the decision after four months they will pay you back all the amount at a time of whatever months have already passed like suppose you applied in September then if they make the decision in December they will pay the money from September to December at a time and then the rest of the money will be always credited in your bank account because you give your bank account in 20th of each month so normally it varies it's like if 20th is not a Monday then it will be something greater than or equal to 20 so if 21st is a Monday you can find these dates on this website of the tax authorities so if 20th is not a Monday then it will be 21 or 22 somewhere around 20 that will be the day you get allowance for the next month so they always it is in advance always remember that these things are in advance and you pay rent for your house or something that is also in advance so if you want to pay rent for October then you have to pay it in September 20th onwards or something like that sometimes they have you have to pay before this date 
Sometimes you can pay by the end of September, like maybe 30th, depends. Most cases it is end of September. So that's why you get the allowance in advance so that you pay less. I mean like you pay more, but you get the allowance. So X payers money in Netherlands, but rent, what you pay is for the, the person. So you pay the whole amount, but you get something back from the tax authorities in your account, which you have already given. And there is one thing in getting the house rent allowance. So there is a free calculator, which you can find in Google in the tax authorities website. So what that free calculator does is it can give you an estimate of how much amount you can get as an allowance. I won't go into deep of that unless someone asks in the comments. that you have a basic rent for each house and they divide it in such a way is like you have a basic rent and uh, you have like basic rent for your house and you have the utilities so I can give you an example of the house that I stayed uh, in Delft during my masters in two th between 2015 to 17 I can give you that example to because I did my masters in computer science in two Delft and I'm from India so I'm also an international student so my house was private accommodation and I paid Duo is the housing agency here in Netherlands uh, so we got a housing from Duo which was made possible by TU Delft but the main contract was with Duo that is the housing agency and we paid uh, Duo around uh, 480 I think it was something odd 480 uh, euros for rent every month and after my allowance was processed then I got back like somewhere around it's exactly I don't remember the values it is approximately very similar somewhere around 90 euros every month on that date around 20th I get around allowance of 90 euros so at the end I spent 390 euros for a private housing and I was by the way I was living in Van Hasselen I don't know if you might have some of you will be already living there and some of you might live in future I don't know just uh, what happens is like in the calculator you can find the estimated amount so how is it calculated is like out of 480 I had like 200 something I think it was 290 or something like that so most amount you get from the gross rent that you pay except the utilities utilities I mean like utilities can be something like your uh, whatever you pay for cleaning gas electricity furnishing and this kind of thing so cleaning you don't get uh, gas for cooking like gas stoves but you get like uh, for heating heating of the room it's very expensive because you know it's a cold country and furnishing is like the furnitures that you got most of the houses are furnished so they charge you something every month and there are different other costs in utilities you can find in the link below or maybe you can search in Google so on these utilities like uh, sorry this 90 euro is the allowance let me erase it S suppose it was like I don't remember exactly but it was like 320 euros for the basic rent and maybe 160 was for the utilities so what happens is they have a the way they calculate I don't want to go into details so they have a base price like 220 220 or 240 euros and they subtract your amount that you pay as the basic rent from this amount and then whatever they get suppose here you get 80 then they add some percentage of this like suppose out of five or six categories in the utilities 
you will have two like maybe the caretaker allowance or the cleaning allowance something which can be compensated not everything in utilities is compensated so that will account for like 10 or 15 or maybe 20 euros so in total that is how the calculator calculates so main is your base if your base is very high like somewhere around 300 something then you get more allowance because the utilities does not contribute much for the allowance somehow it is related to the allowance now uh, somehow it is related to the allowance uh, that is the like uh, you need to sometimes what happens in your house there will be like three or four persons who are already registered in a private housing in the municipality because they have not deregistered this is a very peculiar thing which happens sometimes in some parts of some municipalities or Kimente of Netherlands and you need to be careful of it so what you can do is like uh, suppose I mean normally in Delft I experience that I think in student cities you will mostly experience because students come and go they don't stay the, or permanently in that place so suppose I mean you need to check this suppose you get a decision after you apply the allowance uh, everything is right from your side like you have applied it correctly and you have followed all the procedure but you find that you still they send you a letter stating that there are more than one person who are living in this registered in this apartment then you are not eligible for getting the allowance then you need to uh, i mean you need to protest so not exactly protest but you need to go to the municipality to deregister those persons so basically i am saying this now so better is before you apply this you should deregister so that everything is all right so basically when a person leaves the apartment if he doesn't deregister from the municipality i mean like if you move from one municipality to another in netherlands then you are automatically deregister after a certain time window like two or three months but if you leave netherlands then sometimes they are not registered deregistered automatically so in that case you might have this overlap this might apply not for everyone but for some it also happened with me so suppose you have like two or three persons registered in that same private accommodation or same address in the municipality so you need to go to the municipality take an appointment maybe online or maybe just uh, take out a coupon appointment when you reach there it's mostly available in every municipality it's very advanced in netherlands so what you can do is uh, you'll have like two or three I don't know like persons registered so you go there just show them the proof and of your rental contract and when you started staying and everything and they will just initiate the process if there are so many persons more than one and after maybe like one month I don't know like one month or maybe two I think it is faster nowadays like 15 days or one month they already solve it so after that time you get a letter that now you are officially registered in that municipality and uh, there is no longer anyone else apart from you it's only one one of you and then you can easily go on with the process that I described before for applying for the house rent allowance and you'll easily get the house rent allowance there should not be an issue so leave in the FAQs below uh, if I miss anything now let's go to the care allowance.